Okay, today guys, I'm working on a 2013 Chevy Captivia. The check engine light keeps coming on on the customer and it keeps stalling. I hooked up my scan tool. P0010 code comes up for the camshaft. I'm going to be changing that out. I'm going to show you how to do that today. This is the 2.4. You will have to take off this hose clamp. You will also have to take off this hose clamp. And you will have to disconnect this on the side. Be very careful with this. Give it a slight, slight tug. It should come out. Okay, mine came out with ease. And now you, there is a uh, spot back here and right here. You just have to tug that back up. Let me disconnect all this and I'll get right back to this. Okay, I disconnected all of this. Just remove this like so. Which this will pull up now. And just give this a quick little tug in the back. This whole piece will remove. Okay. So now we're at this point. Take your oil cap off. Place it off to the side tuck this down under so it doesn't get ruined now there'll be a spot here here and here just give this cover a, a quick little tug and it'll just pop right up like so put that cover off to the side and now this is the sensor that we need to fix but I am gonna replace both the customer said I can I said go for it I'm going to replace both of these sensors. Bear with me for a second so I can go get my tools to take this off. I'm going to pop both of these off really quick. All right, no problem at all. Oh, before I take this off all the way, you will just want to disconnect these two clips. Just put your finger on it. And give it a little tug. It should come right off. Same thing with the next one. It comes right off. You don't want to mix these up. They, they should only go on one way. But as you can see, the white one's up the front. The purple one is in the back just in case if anyone does miss this, mix it up. Now I'm gonna to continue to take this out. Okay, what you wanna to wanna to do is, after you remove the bolt, unloosened it, you wanna take something to bring in here to have it rest against this cover and against your sensor. Don't squeeze, just lightly pull up. Since it should pull right up, like so. Sensor comes right out. You will have some oil that leaks off. Make sure you have a towel or something nearby. Okay, this is your sensor. That is the part number for this first one, that's the P0010 code. And this is your part number for the back one. I'm gonna remove the back one too, and then I'm gonna show you how to put these in. Right here, and pry up slightly, comes right up with these. Do not have no problem with it. Give it a little wiggle back and forth. It will drip very little bit of oil. And right off to the side. Now you're gonna to wanna to clean up all inside of here. As you can tell in this one. Uh, I don't know if you can really see that well, but it is a little bit oily in there. Got a little bit of gunk. I'm just gonna clean that up really quick. 
and I will get right back to this. Okay, the black one goes towards the back, the black top, right here, goes towards the back. Let's slide that right in. Went in with these. Just gonna tighten it down a little bit. she was having a problem with is the light gray top which that will go in the front slide it right down went in light with ease and just tighten down the bolts okay the back one's tight Tighten down the front one. Yeah, both sitting in there correctly. Okay. And now just to put the clips back on, the purple one goes to the back, the white one goes towards the front. Clips right on. The trade on. Very easy job. Um, anybody can do this at home. I hope this video helps out everybody so you guys won't have to spend all the money at the mechanic shop. Um, and everything just goes right back on exactly how we just took it all off. Um, I will show you how to do that too. Okay, these clips are all fastened in. All you do is you take this back this is where it popped back off there there and here the oil cap holds the oil cap holds this part down Show you put your oil cap back on. Now that is all fastened back down. And now we're just gonna put this back on like so. And all you need for this job is a flathead screwdriver, a 10 millimeter ratchet and socket, and something to pry with. And you just tighten this, you tighten that back up. You put this back in. And you tighten that one back up. And you are all done with your job. Very easy, not hard to do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you guys out. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.